Hey there, today I'm going to go over a direct upgrade from Acronis Cyber Backup 12.5 on premise to Acronis Cyber Protect 15. Here I have the latest build of Cyber Backup 12.5 installed with both the management console and agent installation. The direct upgrade method I'm going to cover only applies to build 12, 730, and higher. If you are not on that build or higher, you need to upgrade your Cyber Backup 12.5 on all of your machines before upgrading to Cyber Protect 15. If you aren't sure what build you are currently on, just select this little question mark from the management console and go to about to see your current version. Let's see here. Also at this point, I recommend taking note of your storage nodes under settings, storage nodes, as they should be upgraded after the management server. In my case here, the management server is also a storage node. So I am all set, but your setup may include a dedicated storage node or more than one. So make a note of these machines now. If you have not done so yet, now is a good time to download the latest installer for CyberProtect 15. Head to your account at account.acronis.com and select get product under the CyberProtect section. Then select download from the on-premises section. This will bring you to the landing page to select the appropriate download for your environment. Today, I'm gonna to be using the 64-bit Windows installer. It is highly recommended you take a current backup of your management server, and if you use an external SQL database, a backup of that as well. Here, I can verify that I have a good backup of my management server, as well as I have this backup replicated to NAS, just to be safe. Now that I have verified that I have a good backup as well as replication, I'm gonna go ahead and run the installation file that I downloaded earlier to proceed with the upgrade. As you can see, it's detected the 12.5 installation and is ready to upgrade. Also, just a reminder here to make sure you've backed up your management server just in case of an update failure. Go ahead and check I understand and proceed with the upgrade. This may take some time depending on your configuration and you may get a prompt to restart the file explorer. Note, this normally does not require you to restart the entire machine. As you can see here, I was prompted to restart just the explorer itself not the actual server. Okay, as you can see here, my installation has been successfully updated. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it back up my management console. Sign in normally. And you'll be greeted by the welcome to Acronis Cyber Protect, as well as a quick tour of new features in Cyber Protect 15. Note you may need to re add or re sync your license information if prompted. Since I'm using a subscription based license, I'm going to head down to settings and then licenses and re sync my Acronis account. Once that sync has been completed, all my licenses will show up. If you have perpetual licenses, you'll want to add keys if needed. Go ahead and reload the CyberProtect console. This will verify and update all my license information. Now that I've reloaded the console, I'm going to head back devices. Now I can see that my server showing status along with its last backup still in place. My protection plan is still in place. Replication plan and validation plans have also copied over. Now that the management server is updated, you also wanna run the installation file on any machine that has an Acronis storage node on it that we made note of earlier. Once this is completed, we should verify the storage node location is still present under backup storage. There it is. Once you're sure, 
both your management server and storage nodes have been updated, you can either push out the rest of the agent updates via settings, agents, selecting an agent, or by manually running the installation file you downloaded earlier on your other machines. That's it. The upgrade from a Cronus Cyber Backup 12.5 on-premise to a Cronus Cyber Protect 15 is complete.